Hey, what's up? It's me, Lover J. You know what time it is. It's time for three minutes from the 25360, and I'm here on the campus of South Puget Sound Community College where I teach Hip Hop 219. And the reason I teach that class, the main reason I started as a guest uh, lecturer with my man right here, Professor James Schneider, who started hip hop. And I'm going to talk to him real quick about why hip hop should be on higher education campuses, community colleges, universities. Let's let's cut to it, Professor James Snyder. Thank How you, you doing? Thank you, thank you. Thanks oh, for having me. Uh, it's good to have yeah, you. Yeah, it's great to have you here on our campus. Oh, thank you. So Jose Lava J, been listening to him on Chaos for years, and had him come into my class a few times in the past, and realized that he should be teaching the class. So this year he's teaching the class, and I bet it's so much fun. I wish I was there. Hip hop connects. It, it resonates, and it like it's got a pulse on what we are about as Americans today. And I think it's just pretty critical. Something to think about. Something to ponder who we are as a culture, as a society. Maybe even better, who we want to be. And I get hip hop is a way to become who we want to be sort of seeing the possible possibilities for change and finding ways to make it happen through arts, through expression, through freedom, through liberation, through all those things that hip-hop provides. So I think uh, Lover J is just a prime example of all that it embodies and it's, it's fabulous that he's here doing the work on our campus. We need it here in the South South Sound. You know, we're a little, uh, we're a little small town down here, so it's good to have, good to have uh, some hip-hop happening. Well, I appreciate you. What's up, man? I appreciate you, uh, you know, and your words and, and me being here is because you were here first. So I, I wanted to get an idea as well. And thank you. I wanted to get an idea on what inspired you to even start uh, teaching this course because you, you're a musicologist, you're also a musician, you know, and you introduced hip hop here, first hip hop class in our, you know, three higher education institutions in the Olympia area. Um, Why'd you do that? That's right, that's right. Well, teaching, I was teaching a music history class and realized that it was, uh, it was what students were listening to. It's, it's part of what youth culture is about today, part of what youth culture is. So it made me, it made clear to me, I suppose, that uh, there was a need for us to be looking at it in a, in a focused way. And it had a lot of potential for us to look at ourselves, look at each other, and figure out what, uh, how we might change for the better, I guess. What just your, seemed opportune. What was your most rewarding experience so far with that course? Oh, well, last year we had a great time. We produced a song as a class. We all uh, wrote lyrics. We all we all wrapped our lyrics. We listened to it as a whole class and just joined together with one another, loving what we did and and really sort of a uh, it spoke our truth about what the class was all about, what it meant to us, how it changed us, and uh, I thought it was fabulous. Great experience to be part of. Thank you. All right. All right. Professor James Snyder. Love a J. That's right. And uh, three minutes from the 25360. Thank you. Peace. Peace.